Hello, it's the Crap Goth, and today's video is going to be about Black Star ceramics. And here they are, just so you can have a quick look at those. There we go. You can pause your screen so you can have a look. And their socials. Now, if you've never heard of Black Star Ceramics, these are amazing people who do fantastic little pottery items. Now, I collect their ghosts. No surprise there because I also collect York ghosts as well. That's another video. I've not done that one yet, but I will do. So Black Star Ceramics, I like two of their things specifically. And I said that word right, which I didn't think I would. So firstly, are they ghosts? Because they do lots of different ghosts. Now, this one is not on their ghosts. This is on another thing, which is potion bottles. So I have been saving up for oh, a while now, all the different potion bottles. Every time they bring a new one out, I have to get it. So I have this box here. Hopefully I won't drop any of them. And I haven't unwrapped them. I've opened one for the sellotape trick, the first one, but all the rest are wrapped. I haven't opened them at all. I've been saving them for weeks. So... Their ghosts um, are fantastic as well because the York Ghost Merchants ghost that I collect, which I will show you, um, they actually sit on top of the York Ghost Merchants um, ghost like a little like costume, which is really cool. Or you can put a tea light under there, like a battery tea light, not a real one, a battery light one, and they'll flicker, which is fantastic. So I will actually... In fact, bear with me two seconds because there is actually a Black Star Ceramics ghost in Corey's room because he also collected them. Actually, I don't need to do that. Ignore that, I've completely gone like, oh, brain farted. I actually have one here. So this one is an extra special one that has just been gifted to Corey by one of our amazing friends, Julie Walton. So thank you so much, Julie. So she's just come back from the Whitby Goth weekend and she came back not having a clue at all that I even knew what Black Star Ceramic Ghosts were. And she's like, oh mate, I've picked you up these coffins because she, she always goes to Justin's Chocolatiers and gets us some coffins if we can't go. So... That's another one as well. I'm going to jump in very, very quickly because this is such a cool thing to show you. So Justin's Chocolatiers do chocolate coffins over, over the goth weekend. Um, it's something that Corey absolutely loved. I love them. Like We buy them for all the family. And um, I said to her, Julie, please, please, can you pick me some up while she's over there? I sent her the money. She picked them up for me. She wasn't going to let me pay either, but I had to really go, oh, take the money because she's lovely. Um, but she brought them um, for, for Corey last year as well. That um, We weren't able to go, so she brought him one. So he'd never missed out on his chocolate coffin. And, and I asked her to pick one up for this year as well, so we can take one to his resting place. But these are the chocolate coffins from Justin's Chocolatiers. So this is a milk chocolate one. I think they do dark chocolate as well. And I was, I was saving this. I'm actually going to open it and show you what it is. So it's really nice. Not good if you're vegan, so don't think they do vegan, vegan chocolate. But um, so this, these are lovely. So these come in all different sizes as well, like little ones, big ones, whatever. Um, they're not a set price, so it depends on how much they weigh. So this is the chocolate coffin that's got the inverted like Dracula cross on it because those of you who don't know, Whitby is associated with um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. It was like the inspiration. So it's really, really cool. There's your chocolate coffin and, oh, I don't have to nibble it. So inside, oh, sorry, I'm going to do it anyway. Inside, so nice these are. Oh my God, it's like Whitby again. Hmm. Oh my god, I wish you could taste it. It's so nice. Inside is an absolutely gorgeous. I don't exactly know what it is. I think it's like a strawberry fondant. Oh my god, it's so nice. Bear with me. I'm going to savour this. Mm. Oh my god, it's like chocolate soaked. Not that I know what that's like, but I imagine it's dead good. That is so nice. I'm going to save that in the fridge for later because I want to literally not waste any of it at all. They are so nice. So anyway... Julie picked these up for us and she went in um, and she asked them, could you have a little bag, a little Justin's bag, because they come with like, like the little stickers on. There we go. The Justin's of Whitby. And she told them the story of Corey and um, they did one better. Instead of just giving her a bag, they gave her, and she rang me up and we were both in tears, they gave her an original clay coffin that um, that the, basically the chocolate coffins are moulded from. Um, this is like a like a cast kind of thing. This is an original one. This apparently is older than Justin himself. So um, I don't mean Justin himself or just in the shop. I'm not quite sure. But this is basically a part of Whitby history that neither of us knew even existed. Just look at that. That is absolutely incredible. That's an original clay coffin from Justin's Chocolatiers. 
and it's absolutely amazing and that is on Corey's bed and that is where it's going to live in Corey's bed as well always forever so thank you to the person who was generous enough to gift that generous enough to gift that to Julie for Corey that is going to be absolutely treasured forever a piece of Whitby history in our house on Corey's bed he would absolutely love it so now brings us on to the Black Star Ceramic Ghost. So like I said, this one's for the potion bottles. I will show you the ghost another time. The reason I went into all that story about Whitby was because look what Julie brought back. This is a Black Star Ceramics Ghost. So see what I mean? They're big enough to be able to put a tea light under. Like I said, battery ones, please don't put a live flame under there because it will probably crack it. Um, the light shines through their eyes, which is great. And you can get a York Ghost and pop them underneath. I'll go and get one. Okay, so this is a York Ghost Merchants Ghost. I will do another video on these because I've got a lot of these. They always have the little logo there. Corey collects these as well. We both absolutely love them. Um, so this is a Solid Phantom. That's what they're called. Some of them are stamped underneath. Mine, this one isn't. And if you see, they'll just go and sit inside. So they become a bit like, it's like wearing a jacket, which is really cool. And when they're on the surface, their eyes actually do poke through through the holes. So they just, they just pair up beautifully, which is incredible. But anyway, Julie had no idea at all that I collected these ghosts, that I'd heard of these ghosts, or that Corey had them on the piano in his, his bedroom. And she bought me a, well, she, know what be, she bought Corey a Whitby Ghost Week, Whitby Goth Weekend ghost even, which I could not believe because I have never seen this for sale, <laughs> which is incredible. So this is Corey's and it lives on his bed with his little coffin thing, which is incredible. And now we're going to go to the Black Star Ceramics potion bottles. Now, I also have more that are not not in here they're all off displayed with like my ghosts and things we had to pack down the living room to be able to redecorate so a lot of it's still there but these are all the newest ones well the newest ones that i've bought they may have brought some out in the past couple of weeks that i haven't seen so i absolutely love these if you like apothecary apothecary is that the right word if you like apothecary shelves and all spell bottles and things you are going to love these so this is again they're all ceramics and they have the little cork lids this is vampire blood and they are so, so cool. Just look at that, look. They have the little corks in there. I don't think that's gonna come out. Oh, there it is. Uh, you can see in there, keep the corks in. It stops the dust and spiders getting in. But that is absolutely brilliant. The colors on that are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And look at the little stamps in there as well, like a little star stamp. You can see that? Just about there. They're absolutely amazing. I love them. I really, really love them. And they're so dinky, but they've got some weight to them and they look so cool on shelves, honestly, really good. So that's the vampire blood one. I'm gonna put those in front of my little, I don't want it to fall, I should put them there, look. I don't know what these are, genuinely, it's been so long since I ordered these and they've been sat here in this box. So this is a surprise. So we've got another one here and this one is holy water, which is absolutely awesome. Look at that. And I like the fact that the labels actually stick out from the bottles. It's not as though it's like being like carved in. It's like an extra additional bit. Again, it's brilliant. The little cork, the little star, which I presume is like the Black Star Ceramic logo, which is brilliant. That is so cool. That's a must for any vampire hunting kit, isn't it? Which is really awesome. I don't actually know how many I've got here. Actually, I've got a fair few. But like I said, I've been collecting them for absolutely months and they've been sat here for a long time. So this one is Bat Wings. Very like um, Nightmare Before Christmas, isn't it? Very Tim Burton. So a little potion bottle of Bat Wings there, which is really cool. Absolutely fantastic. There is a little star. You could, don't know if you can see because of the ring light. It's just a little kind of indent of a star there. That seems to be their kind of trademark, I think. I've never noticed it before, to be honest with you. But there we go. There's your little Bat Wing one, which is so cute. I love it. I'm not going to have room for all my little potion bowls soon. Another one. I don't remember what this one is. It looks like it's blue. Honestly, these are really, really cool. You have to go over and check them out, see what, see what they're doing. They do pumpkins as well. So they do pumpkins. They do a Steve the Pirate. I've got that one for Corey. And that's off somewhere in a box, I think, I say, from decorating. But yeah, they do loads of different things, especially um, different times of the year as well. So you want to get on there as soon as they do a release, jump on it and get it if you like it, because it will fly out of the door. This is Aqua Tofana. Now, I don't actually know what that is, but it looked cool, so I got it, which is really, really good. Uh, there we go. The light, the ring light's really strong. And that is a stunning blue, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of Denby Pottery a little bit, like Boston, I think it was called. 
when I used to work at Danby Pottery. And John's watching this going, oh, it's my favourite job in the world. It was. I used to love working at Danby Pottery. And I used to do the coloured bands on the plates, which was amazing. And this is beautiful. So yeah, that is gorgeous. I love that colour. It's so pretty. So pretty. Have another one. And this one looks like it's black. I can't believe I've not even opened these, honestly. Yeah, sometimes I just really want to do it, but then I'm like, I need to save it for a video when I'm in the right headspace to do it. This one is... Oh, it's another Pat Wings. I've got two. <gasps> this is going to have to be a gift. Oh my gosh, I've got two of them. There we go. Another Bat Wings, which is cool. Obviously, I've forgotten what I've already collected. So some person's going to be getting this for Christmas. You can go there. Oh, I hope I've not got a ton of duplicates now. Well, I don't know, because I've got one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Five left. This one is another black bottle. I love them. Do any of you guys collect anything like this? And have you got anywhere you can recommend as well? Because obviously I love things that are a little bit quirky. Ring light's gone dark again. Come on, light. There we go. This one is... Oh my God, you are not going to believe this. It's another vampire blood. Oh, oh gosh. So there's going to be some there. Some happy little goths over Christmas, isn't there? There we go. That's going to be another one that's going to be gifted out because I clearly am completely ditzy and forgot I'd already bought it. But you can never have too many cool things, can you? Oh my gosh. Right then. <laughs> well, I was betting the next one's a duplicate as well. Honestly, my head, the way it works, obviously it's no secret I suffer from mental health illness like, and sometimes I go, I need this. I don't know if you guys are like that at all. I get this fixated on something. I'm going, I have to have it. It's going to change my life. I literally need this. Not as in like a greedy way, just it, it could be something little. It can be a leaf off the floor and I'm like, I have to have that leaf because of that leaf is going to change the way I feel. It's so weird. And I will treasure that leaf. It's not as though I go off and have another fad usually but it's like yeah i love everything and i get so enthusiastic so they've obviously brought these out and i've got really excited and bought them and then a few weeks later they've probably re-released them and i've gone oh my god they're so good forgetting i'd already got the others but other people benefit from it because they end up being presents so yeah sorry that my videos might be a little bit like ditzy and stupid but that's me <laughs> so yeah there you go and i can't even open this oh right Please don't be a duplicate. What have we got here? We've got vampire blood, holy water, bat wings, aqua to far something. To farna. So far. And this one is. You are never gonna believe it. It is a holy water. If you're on the vampire hunt, you can never have too much holy water, to be fair. But question for you: if you could be a vampire, would you be? Because I have, like, I know it's like the whole romanticised thing. Oh, it'd be dead nice to have fangs. I used to have fangs. You can't tell now, actually. They were built up proper fangs, but like, over the years they've worn down. Um, I, I thought, like, I, I, like, the romantic bit is like, oh, my God, it'd be so amazing to be, like, all gothy and vampiric and stuff. And then there's the whole bit of, like, when you watch Queen of the Damned, if you've not seen it, go watch it, where she has to watch all of her family kind of go before her because she's a vampire and she can't ever pass with them. But then there's the whole... Yes, I'd do it. <laughs> I would honestly do it. I really, really would. Just for the, just, just for the, like, because I think it'd be cool. And you can make a difference. You can be like an eco vampire. But there we go. We have another holy water. So that is going to be another gift. That's three gifts now so far. In fact, I tried to do this before and it didn't really work because nobody really participated. How about I do a giveaway? So it can be anywhere in the world. Um, I will get one of these posted out to you. So um, I tell you what we do. What should we do? Uh, something that's got to be pretty cool. So let me think on it. And by the end of the video, I'll think of something. And then whoever wins basically can have one of these potion bottles. I'll give you the choice. Um, but I can only give you about five days to make the choice. Otherwise, I've been waiting for too long and it won't get to you in time for Christmas, especially if it's abroad. So let's see what else we've got. I've got three more. No. Yes, three more. Oh. Oh, my God. Holy shit. So I have got. 
I remember. So this is not just potion bottles. This is actually something else. And I totally friggin' forgot. <gasps> I am so excited. Oh my God. Right. This is brilliant now. So, right, let's see what we've got. So I do have a little potion bottle here. I think I've got another, but then I've just spotted. So I picked it up. I'm like, friggin' hell, that's heavy. And I remember why now. I am so excited. <laughs> right, so first of all, if I can ever get into this one, don't be a duplicate. Please don't be a duplicate. Ooh, I don't think it is. It's got a lot of writing on this one. I can't get in it. I want it and I can't have it. Oh my God. No, this is not a duplicate. This is Deadly Nightshade. There, that is so awesome. Obviously, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So although it's not, you know, the same as theirs, it's still like a reference, which is so cool. So this is really, really nice. I love that. I think there's so much work that goes into it. Like, it must take a fair bit to get all that, all the little like, outline in there as well. And there's a little Black Star Ceramic um, Star, which is really cool. Again, the little one in the bottom, which is funky. Ah, I don't have a duplicate. I love it. It's so cool. Ooh, I think this is the last potion bottle. And then we've got three other things that are not potion bottles and they're not ghosts. And I know what one of them is. There we go. Oh, what's this one? This could be another potential duplicate because I am stupid and don't think. What is it? It's a black one. It is. It's another deadly nightshade. Seriously, I think it is because they tend to release some and then they'll sell out completely. They'll do some other batches of things and then they sometimes bring things back in. And clearly my head's just gone, oh, forget that one and buy it again. That is really cool. So that is so cool. In fact, you know what? I'm going to, because I've already got one of these as well, I'm going to, I'm going to give one of them to Julie because she went off to Whitby and she brought me the coffins and things back. So Julie, if you're watching this video, I will text you anyway, but um, um, I will give you the choice of, of which one you want um, after I've run the competition. Is that okay? And then, uh, and then, yes, you can have one of my duplicates if you want one, because I know your house is quirky as well. It's got all dust on it from there. Right, anyway, the next ones are a stick. I can see through it, it looks like a stick look. It's very skinny. And a non-stick. And then this, which I know what this is. So let's save that one. So I now know what that stick is because I've just realised. Uh, right, this one. Not sure what this is, to be honest with you. Really can't remember. Ooh. Okay. It's got a skull, skull and crossbones. So potentially something for Corey's bedroom, because I will always buy things for Corey, always. If I see something I think you'll like, I'll just get it for his bedroom. I've just been on Wayfair this evening and of like thank goodness for clear pay which is a bit of a, like, like a payment plan thing i bought him a new bookcase a new little set of shelves to go at the end at the end of his bed and some under bed storage for all his not all of his clothes but his favorite clothes and blankets which i will not part with so yeah i'm gonna make his bedroom really pretty because we're doing our stories upstairs as well so don't give one without the other i will buy something for ebby's bedroom at university but it is a coaster so it, it has got like the little glue dots there and it is a poison coaster look how thick that is it's absolutely huge and beautiful. So this will go in Corey's bedroom. It could be for Corey. Obviously, every pirate needs his Jolly Roger little skull and crossbones. So there we go. That's for you, Corey matey. If you're watching, if you're here, that's for you, my lovely. Look at this. Oh, apothecary. It's so cool. Apothecary. <laughs> so I was born Kerry. I changed my name to Pixie when my mum passed away as a bit of a nod to her because she used to call me pixie because my ears are pixie shaped both of them this one's a bit deformed now because my stretcher blew out but like i have pixie ears they're natural so yeah that's why i'm called pixie but i was born kerry so apothecary which is cool right oh you'll probably guess what this this big thing is once i undo this one but do i have a pair of scissors no don't i did have i was like literally set up to be uh all organised in this video and clearly that ain't gonna happen. Just don't want to break it. <sighs> okay. Ooh, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's so obvious what this is. When you see this, 
there we go. And for those of you who have never seen one of these before, it all will become apparent when I open this. So yeah, this is really cool. I don't like, it's so unusual to see something like this go, go to sale on their website. I was like, I need it, I need it. Even though technically I can go down the garden and get it. <laughs> So this is raw honey. Now, honestly, it was absolutely fascinating because obviously I'm used to seeing ceramics. So when I saw a jar of honey and a little stirrer, I'm like, oh, I love honey and I love bees and everything. Now I keep bees so I can go down the garden and harvest my own. But I wanted this and it's Black Star. It's made by Black Star Bees. How cool. This is Lilac Cottage, Baldwin's Gate. So look, and it's even got the logo and the bee. So there we go, we've got some raw honey, which is so super good for your immune system. Really, really good. If you get local honey as well, it can fight off things like um, hay fever and stuff. So um, when my bees, because I've got to go down and harvest my bees, actually, the weather's dire at the moment. Um, but I'm a little bit late in the year for, for harvesting them. I've got to be careful. It's not too cold for opening the hive. But um, when I start to kind of like um, jar mine up and everything, it will be given out to people locally because it's fantastic for like combating hay fever, like your local bees, because obviously they're collecting local pollen. So yeah, really, really good. A lot of medicinal qualities with honey and it lasts for years. So if you're going to go into post-apocalyptic mode, get yourself some honey. It will last years. Good stuff. Guess what? I just put it in the box. Going, yeah, that's the end of it. I thought this was just bubble wrap and I picked it up. I'm like, that's heavy. So something is obviously very breakable in here. And I literally have no clue what it is. I thought this was just padding for the honey. But there's something inside there and I don't want it. Oh, sorry, it's in bed, so I don't want to. This is going to pop so loud. Shit. I literally, oh my God. I don't even remember ordering this, but I can see through it. Shut up. I honestly don't remember ordering it. Oh my god, I wonder if it's like part of some deal or something, like where if you buy the honey, you get you buy the pot, you get the honey free. I don't know what this was. Oh my god. Super excitement now. Oh my god, let me get at it. Oh, it's that gorgeous blue again as well. That's on oh no, it's a bit darker than the aqua one actually. So this is blue, it's not black. I don't know if you can tell, you can see on there actually. Look at that. So it's Hamia, so it's made by Black Star, raw honey. So there's your honey pot. And there's the honey, so you can pour the honey into the pot and then you get your honey spoon or stirrer kind of thing. So there, there's actually even a notch in the lid. So once your honey's in, you put your little lid on there, look, and there's your honey, your honey stirrer. So what you do is you take your honey lid off. This is if it's a jar or like one of these, so it's up to you. But the honey stirrers are so much better. So um, you just get, you get this up, imagine it's got honey on it and you literally just spin it to stop the honey. And when it's stopped, you just get it and you put it into your drink, stir it like a spoon. Then get it and stick it back in your honey. Job done. It's really, really, really good. Honestly, these are brilliant. You can get them in metal and everything, but I prefer the wooden ones. They're fantastic. They're much easier than spoons because spoons are messy. But these are designed to be spun around and it goes into the grooves. And it's also the shape of a beehive. The, the like uh, traditional beehive, which is so cool. So yeah, that is absolutely friggin' brilliant i love it so we've got all these apothecary bottles the devi nightshade vampire blood holy water bat wings aqua tofana if you know what that is give me a shout like comment down below because i don't actually know what that is from um and then yeah we've got the poison um coaster which is gonna be for corey the honey the pot and the stirrer that is a haul and a half so get your asses over to black star ceramics they might even post abroad you know i they bet they will they're frigging brilliant. They do actually sell stuff in Whitby as well, I've, um, I do know that. So there we go again. Just pause your screens, go and have a look. Absolutely brilliant. I say it's worth checking out their sites because the things change all the time. There we go. They are amazing. So yeah, go and give them a shout. Go and give them a like. Go and follow. Go and buy some stuff. If you get some stuff, jump onto the Crap Goth on Facebook or um, and drop me like messages and show me what you've got. Or just leave me some comments here. Because it'd be so nice to know that other people are into this sort of stuff. Right, give me two seconds. Right, okay then. So, giveaway time. So, not only one, but two bottles. You can have two of these bottles. 
So we have a Deadly Nightshade, a Bat Wings, a Vampire Blood, and a Holy Water. Now you can choose two of these. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to go and share this channel with as many people as possible. And when it, this channel gets to 20,000 subscribers, at the moment I think it's sitting like 17,000 something. When it gets to 20, which I know is a big ask, especially if it's before Christmas, that'd be amazing. Um, the first person to message me telling me they've shared with like, I don't know, oh, I'm trying to think how to do this fairly. I tell you what, if I get to 20,000 person, 20,000 subscribers, the first person to send me a message via the crap goth on Facebook, personal inbox me, with a picture of whatever potion bottle you want. So I'll write down holy water, vampire blood, deadly nightshade or bat wings. The first person to message me once I hit 20,000 will win two potion bottles of their choice and I will post anywhere across the world and I will cover all postage fees as well. So there you go, you can have any of these two potion bottles. Once my channel hits 20,000 subscribers, inbox me, um, like I said, on Facebook um, or TikTok, if that's easier, if you can message me on TikTok, I'm on TikTok as well. The first person that I get a picture of a bottle, it can just be a quick sketch of a bottle and whichever ones you want. So again, the holy water, the vampire blood, the bat wings or the Deadly Nightshade will win whichever two they want. There you go. Can't say fairer than that, can we, really? And, uh, yeah, that upgrades. It helps my channel, it gets things seen, and it also gets the word out from Black Star Ceramics, who are all incredible. And I'd love to do a giveaway. I'll try and do a giveaway every couple of months, if I can do. The more my subs go up, the more giveaways I will do. Right. <laughs> this is so cool. So I'm going to call it a night for there because it is now 10 o'clock at night and I'm going to go and watch some Tosh on Netflix. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Sorry for getting a little bit like excited. I just absolutely love doing unboxing videos. Honestly, it makes me so happy, especially when I find stuff I'd forgotten I'd even ordered. Ah, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Honestly, please do feel free to message me. I am on TikTok. I am on Instagram, although I don't go on there very often. Um, everything's pixie crap goff. That's pretty much what everything is. Um, like I said, obviously, I'm trying to get my subs up on my channel, which also helps my son's final wish, which was to help me to get to 100k, which is a huge ask, and I am so far away from that. But I'm working my butt off on videos, which is what he would want me to do. So also going to be raising money, raising awareness, um, going out to do stupid things with massive stunt kites and things that are ending up on my arse. Um, lots of stupidity with my husband because he's just an overgrown child. And yeah, and some family outings and stuff. So stay tuned to this channel if you want to see random stuff. A little bit of naughtiness, probably. And then some really nice things for my son, Corey, as well. We're going to go to Christmas light switch-ons and all kinds of stuff. And I'm actually going to Harry Potter Studios as well in about two and a half weeks with one of my best friends, Cherry. Can't wait to do that. Waited for years to do it. I'm so scared because I don't do being out in public very well get so nervous but that's going to be awesome I will do little videos but I'm not going to record the whole thing because I want to be able to enjoy it through my eyes and not through a lens but we'll do some little videos but anyway I'm going to start rambling so don't forget please please share this video that would be amazing check you are subscribed please make sure you tick the little bell icon which lets me know lets me know doesn't let me know lets you know when I go um, and pr like produce a new video go live or whatever like I say, there are some live streams coming up before Christmas as well. So if you want to ask me questions, have a chat with me, have a night, have a moan, tell some rude jokes, whatever, um, please feel free. I will let you know when that's going to be. It'll be probably be about a week before Christmas and I'll be back in the YouTube studios. I haven't been in there since my little boy died and it's just, it's been a very personal thing for me to do and I kind of needed that time. But now I'm ready to get back into there again and his his studio is literally behind mine so you'll see his as I'm filming which is lovely so he's got his lovely all his play buttons on the wall and his, his pictures from everybody and it's, it's lovely so I will be back in there literally in the next couple of weeks so yeah look forward to seeing you all there and um, if you've got any questions or you want to see me unbox anything please do comment down below I love to read things 
I do try and answer as many as I can. Can't always get through everybody because sometimes there's hundreds of comments, but I will try my very, very best to answer everybody. And don't forget, once this channel gets to 20,000 subscribers, which is a big ask, the first person to contact me on any platform, and I am on them all the time, with a picture of two of the potion bottles of your choice, you win them. Like I said, I'll cover all postage. It'll be recorded delivery so you can track it and everything. And that'll be my little present from you. And the more my subs go up, the more the giveaways will come. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.